Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In today's video, we're going to be taking a tour of the Tower Bridge House Harbor build. What? Now, I know that name is a bit of a mouthful, but hear me out. This thing has quite a lot to offer. There are two very large towers, one on either side of the river. Connecting those towers is an absolutely massive bridge, which I can't wait to show you, that can actually fit a longship underneath. There are definitely enough things on the inside to consider this place a house, but there is so much more in there. And also, out front here where I'm standing now is a fully developed harbor, even with a full-size crane. So the name might be a bit of a mouthful, but the tour is going to be awesome. Let's get into it. All right, let's get started with the tour down here at the docks. So if you take a step back and you look at the docks from up above, there are clearly two sides. They are kind of symmetrical, but at the same time, they're also asymmetrical. The right side, it's curvy and free flowing, whereas the left side has kind of hard right angles uh, like a regular dock. So there are similar shapes, but different kind of themes. Over here where I'm standing, this is where the sailors can come and relax. So you're going to find a lot of things for them to just relax and wait for their ship to be offloaded over on the left side with the crane uh, where all of the dock workers would be. So let's take a little tour of the docks over here where the sailors can hang out. First of all, we've got this gazebo right here in front of me. I think this came out really nice. It's got a circular roof with some roof peaks on the sides, which I've never done before. I think they looked really cool. And then as you go into the gazebo, we've got plenty of places to sit by the water, sit in the shade, uh, just hang out and relax and have some nice conversations. Nice tree going through the middle because the floors kind of had a natural opening there. I think that was a great idea for this space. Somebody in the live streams gave me this idea. Uh, thank you to everybody in the live streams that's been hanging out over the past week. Man, they helped me with so many ideas in this build. Over here, we've got a little raised section of the deck. And this is where you've got kind of the continuation of the hangout area for the sailors. It's a little hot tub, some towels they can use, storage for them to place their belongings. You can walk over this way, another bench, more seating. There's a little workbench here for them to repair their tools since they've been out at sea doing work. Maybe they need to repair some things. And then right here, we've got the final place over here on the hangout relaxed side of the docks, which is a little covered uh, p pagoda type of maybe thing that the sailors can hang out in and grab a bite to eat. You can see there's fermenters here, meat for them to drink, tankards for them to use, and plenty of food to go around. And you know, just a nice cozy place in the shade to hang out. All right, so that is pretty much it for the outside of the hangout area docks, but there's also one more thing I wanna talk about. Each side of the docks has a little room inside the bottom of the towers that kind of goes along with it. So I do want to show you that before we head over to the other side of the harbor. So over here on this side, we have the warehouse. The warehouse is pretty sweet. It's got all sorts of different types of things stored away, shelves at all different elevations. You can see the walls are filled with shields. Another idea from somebody in the live stream. Uh, you know, just a bunch of different things that could go in a warehouse. Chairs everywhere, armor stands. Here is just a little place for the bookkeeper to sit and, you know, keep track of all the things in the warehouse. Give you a little look up to the top with all the different shelves. Love how this little room came out. Little coat rack for the bookkeeper. More shields on the wall. And then over here you have kind of a little just like a little deck that's covered well kind of covered but it's under the bridge so it doesn't need to be fully covered and yeah you can just sit here and watch the boats go through which is pretty sweet and then yeah i'll take you guys on one final walk through the warehouse i think this turned out really nice i've done a warehouse in the past but for this one i had a little bit more room so uh i don't know it was a lot more fun and i think it looks pretty sweet but now we can head over across the harbor to the side where all of the real work gets done. Now I want to get started with the crane because I know that's probably what you're looking at if you weren't part of the live streams and you haven't already seen it. Now for anybody that's been following the channel for a while, you know that this is the old crane that I did in my planes base survival build, but I've been seeing since then so many different Valheim cranes, including Versau's new crane that he just did with a water wheel incorporated. I thought that I would go ahead and give it a second go. 
So originally this design was huge and bulky and people commented that it looked like a dinosaur but now I've really toned it down a lot and it feels like it could maybe actually rotate. It's got a wheel here in the center that's supposed to seem like it could be powering the crane. It's got some cranks on the side that could be maybe used for something and you know it's got a counterweight in the back. It feels legit. Counterweight was another idea in the live stream. If you guys didn't know I am live streaming now. So definitely look out for those if you want to get involved in the builds that I'm doing. But yeah, uh, after the crane, you've really just got a lot of little things that have been offloaded onto the dock. Some things are, you know, some nice custom details, fruit bucket, custom little box here. And then some are just things that might fit the theme like storage carts, cargo boxes from storage carts. You know, here we've got some things to repair some tools that you might be using as a dock worker. Uh, more little custom boxes, chest right here. You can see here where the crane picks this up. These are actually two rocks in the water, but you can't tell when you're walking around. It's pretty cool. Here's a couple little boxes that the crane could also grab. And yeah, as we keep going around, we've got some more resources piled up over here. And then I can show you the crane operator's shed. So this little shed is just a cute little shed with a bunch of little details. It's not really a house. There is no bed or anything like that. But, you know, you got the keys to the crane here off on the side. You've got decorations that the crane operator wanted to include and things for them to like make a little lunch or you know sharpen up their weapons or whatever they need to do it's got a cute little roof on it and everything absolutely love this idea to use the space underneath the stairs which once again was an idea on the stream i'm really trying to get everybody involved in the stream so definitely come by and hang out over here as you go up the stone stairs over there we had a warehouse over here we have the treasury so on the right side is kind of the guard station to guard the treasury you know and you know make sure all of the treasure is good uh, we've got some banners on the walls, uh, some storage kind of tucked away up top, hanging chests up there. And as you go down, the first thing you see is right here. This is the shrine wall. So it's kind of a shrine to Frostener here. And I've just got a bunch of lighting in here. In fact, there's so much lighting in here that that is the only lighting in this room. So we've got a shrine wall and then you have the rest of the treasury behind me. You've got some shelves with things. You know, special weapons on the walls, armor placed up top above. Once again, a nice little bookkeeper's nook here so that they can keep track of all of the, you know, this time the gold and the wealth. Keep out sign here where you've got the majority of the wealth here tucked away. Some chests in the back you could use. And then even have, you know, a bunch of shelves with gold all the way stacked up to the top. Pretty sweet little treasury, love how it came out. But that is pretty much it for the docks. I do wanna show you, before we head inside to the structure, a little bit about how this structure works. So you can see that we've got two large towers on the sides. The corners of the towers have been cut out and wood pillars have been added to add a little bit of a wood influence uh, on an otherwise, you know, kind of plain just stone tower. We've got a lot of little details as you get up close that are uh, really just kind of adding to the look of the tower. You can see these are actually angled beams that I placed all through here, which I think to add just a wonderful little extra shadow to there. On the left side, you know, just like down in the docks, the left side and the right side, they are pretty much symmetrical, but they're also a little bit asymmetrical. We've got two windows here and one window over there and then like the little skinny windows on the sides of it. So symmetrical but also asymmetrical for the center you can see that we've got you know once again some windows these are triple layered walls here so that you know you can get those shadows those depth uh those depth <laughs> the so you can add some depth to the wall we've got a yaglith uh trophy here i hope i, I pronounced that correctly and then we've just got the bridge i spent a lot of time working on the bridge unfortunately i did this off stream uh before i um even did stream number one but i think it came out really really nice uh just a lot of like cross braces i guess you could call them back here we've got a two-layered support on the outside um you know some cross braces in here and you can see the floor of the dining hall here too which looks pretty awesome i love how this bridge came out but let's go ahead and head inside i don't want to spend too much time out here so let's keep on moving here we've got 
a nice little kitchen nice hearth here smoke venting right out the back of the tower through a hole right there uh you know some chests on the mantelpiece and of course it's kind of like a pantry up top so you've just got some shelves with food and stuff like that over here we have stone ovens which the fires went out oh no that's okay though we've got a butcher's table here with some boar's heads being uh kind of processed there that was another idea uh in the stream as you come out of the kitchen you come right into the dining hall so the dining hall has two main tables and it has uh, four corners which have some food and some displays so you can see we've got some these are all things you could eat so I put them on the wall here next to some food which everybody was making fun of me saying it looks like the neck is eating the soup whoops <laughs> But yeah, we've got some more stuff over here, just a couple pieces of food, you know, some tankards, some barley wine there. I'll take you across, I'll show you the tables. Oh my gosh, I can't even fit through here. That's a problem. Let's go around this way. You've got uh, two more shelves. You've got a mead rack on this shelf, and then you've got some soup over here on this shelf, more storage and some miscellaneous stuff. But now I wanna show you guys the tables. So this table is more of like a communal table. So everybody just eats anything from the center. They've got their tankards on the sides. And this table uh, is also a little bit communal and uh, there's a little knife here actually on 13 item stands stacked up and there's some uh, barley wine here and some you know soup and tankards and stuff like that uh, you know just a nice little dining experience everybody can share the food in the middle and eat their own stuff too of course there are doors here to go out on the deck and look outwards doors over here to look out towards the harbor and yeah uh, before we go to the upstairs rooms I want to go ahead and show you guys one of my favorite spots in this whole build, which is the forge room and crafting room. It's This room just came out really cozy. I love how it looks. On one side, we have the forge and, you know, some stuff up top, which fits the theme and some storage here and there, a little desk to do some work at. And then on the other side, we have a workbench with, you know, more tucked away stuff, stuff that fits the theme and another desk to work at. I don't know. I love this room. Blue banners on the right, red banners on the left. Love how this room came out. But let's go ahead and take a trip upstairs over here we have the bedroom for uh kind of all the dock workers so we've got a lot of things to talk about first of all the roof came together really nicely i had a lot of iron beams sticking through here to support the roof so i covered those up with some nice things and try to make them look really cool we've got a central stone hearth just to hang out at and relax and then on the sides, we've got all the beds. You can see I've got two big beds here and across there are two more big beds. A little bit of privacy with the banners. Not much though, but just a little bit. And then in the back, there are four bunk beds for four individual people. You can see I just used some signs here to kind of, kind of frame out the bed a little bit and some more banners for some privacy. So that is that pretty much for the bedroom side. You can see there are some shelves as we go out, a little place to sit and relax, more shelves as we go out a place to sit and relax and oh yeah there's also a big chandelier above the dining room that i forgot to say something about so there is that couple different things that add some lighting effects and uh, also some root masks which i think look really cool on a chandelier so now we can go up the stairs to the final room in the build which is the armory definitely last but not least i absolutely love how this room came out you can see i've got the stone hearth once again in the middle we've got the different details on the roof we've got the riveted floors once again using cage floor pieces and yeah the first thing i did here was the weapons rack i think it came out really nice we've got the bows here in the middle different miscellaneous weapons in kind of categories on the sides little places to sit and uh you know deal with weapons sharpen weapons whatever you need to do some storage tucked away also a boss trophy here and as we go over to the right you'll see once again boss trophy now it's labeled armor and we've got some pieces of armor this is the five starter armors in the game and then when you look across we've got the other four armors in the game once again labeled boss trophy two specialized armors here then padded armor and wolf armor on the sides as you go out of the armor you can see the cool wall once again which is the same wall as the other side and you've got some armors to go here leather armor for the dock workers and wolf armor in case they get attacked
all right that is that for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it more coming soon don't forget to stop by the live streams i'm going to be live streaming all of my build tour video builds from now on stop by maybe learn a few tips and maybe teach me some tips and help me decide what to do in the tricky spots of the builds uh you know i've got an instagram a twitter a tiktok a reddit follow me on those if you want thank you guys so much for watching more coming soon and as always have a good one